Hi guys, thank you for visiting this channel. Call me Midi and today we are going to learn on what is image annotation and how you can make money annotating images. Please stay tuned till the end of the video because I will be sharing a tips that can help you make more money than any other person. Without wasting time, let's get started. Guys, this question has been on the rising edge for many people things. There are a lot of opportunities in this topic. So let's today look for the answers in what is image annotation. So image annotation is an human powered task of annotating an image with labels. These labels are being predetermined by the AI engineer and chosen to give the computer vision model information about what is shown on the image. Depending on the project, the amount of labels on each image can vary. Some projects will require only one label and others will require many labels. Other projects will require multiple objects to be tagged within a single image, each with a different label. How does image annotation work? To create annotated image, you need three things. You need images, which you, they will be provided by the client someone to annotate which is you and me a person to annotate the images a platform to annotate the images on this is the company that you will be working for the company that connects you with the client whom he provides the images to images or video, the data in short, to annotate. The platform to annotate the images on will have the following tools for that annotation. Number one, we have the image, we have video, text, audio, and line, and many more. In this example, I'm going to show you the types of annotation in which you can be able to understand very well about this image, video, text, and audio, how they come in. Okay, now, uh, we'll, let's learn about the tools that are being used here on um, annotation. We have so many tools and I'm just going to mention the few that are are used by almost all platforms. The ones that are commonly used. So, number one is bonding box annotation. So, with bonding box, you just need to create boxes around the objects that you will be instructed to. So, you can see example here of images. how it looks like okay let's go to the tool number two which is 3d keyboard this is a box also but it has a different shape this is a keyboard this is what we call the 3d and this also the one that is being used mostly by many platforms that you might come across so if you just create box in this shape, this is now the cube with this what we call 3D shape. So we got the tool number three, which is the landmark annotation. The landmark annotation, this one now is used to mostly understand uh, people on the playing ground. Or pointing the facial recognition as you can see on this image 
they're just points you just put it like this and you're good to go let's look at the tool number three which is the polyline number four sorry the polyline it's also one of the common uh, tool which is used to draw lines on the roads which are able to direct the this automated vehicles to take the lines accurately to find the right <coughs> direction traffic bicycle divergence and the surrounding so you can see examples this is how it is used and let's look at the text notation So with text, you will be required to copy a text from an image like this one. This is an ID, national ID. So some some tools are, are automatic. They just copy. Then you your work is to verify if the data is correct. And also on other platform, you will be required to do this manually. To tag the the, the, the images according to the required instruction this helps to recognize the crucial words in sentence making it more meaningful as you can see this is text annotation let's go to the other one which is polygon annotation with polygon you can use to draw irregular shapes. For example, you can see this, you know, this shape of the road marking. You can use that polygon tool to draw it. It is very simple. Just looking like drawing with a pen, as you can see. So polygon and semantic are same. So let's go to another, which is semantic. So as you can see, polygon and semantic are pretty similar thing. You can also, it is simple, you just draw over the edges of the object you want to draw. As you can see, can see some examples. They are pretty easy. Another one is, before leader, let's go to video presentation. Now the video, <laughs> you only need to draw a box around the vehicle and of course it is moving and you need to follow and track that object. It might be a vehicle or a person as you can see here. People are moving so this is a video playing. The tool has the controls to slow down the speed of the video in which you can track slowly with your pace so this is one of the highest paying projects because it's a bit complex and heavy task you also need a good machine to do this and let's go back to the leader in 3d now with this leader it's somehow different from the other ones because it is the picture is taken by a camera called the leader the leader cameras in which the visual on it is somehow different from the other images it's not very clear but with the help of the images you can identify objects that are inside here like for example you can see they are combining video and cuboid annotation with this type of image that's why we have leader so we'll see how it is you can easily identify that these are vehicles being packed here and this vehicle moving in this road now you see this image this is what i'm telling you uh, we don't need to be afraid when you see this because the platform will show you 
the real image and the leader form so you can be able to tell if there is any vehicle here which you should be able to identify it on this other side some tools will provide you with both the clear image and the leader form of image so you don't need to be worrying about this okay now that you have an idea of those type of job let's look at the sites which you can get those jobs uh, number one is Remotask Remotask has been there for almost 10 years and the pay is around 10 to 20 dollars a day this is the average money you can make in a day according to my experience some can make even more and some can make less than that. Uh, number two is Cloud Factory. Cloud Factory is also an online based job, but they have of their location in which uh, you need to apply before you get approved and they will train you manually, not like Remotask. On Remotask, you just need to sign up an account and train yourself they have materials on their website and on cloud they will train you manually from their offices then they will assign you a work to to work on home or on offices and another one is work around work around you can make from 50 to 70 dollars a day and this is from my also my experience I ever made seven dollars seventy dollars in a single day within six hours and I was so glad about it but there are some downsides in which I'll, I'll say I'll be talking about um, in the end of this micro workers is another site where you can get those types of job rotation jobs in which you can earn from one to ten dollars a day then spare five you can earn from five to ten dollars a day for those spare five is slowly closing their doors it is been a while since they are last operated Another one is Amazon Mechanical Tech, but this one in Africa it's kind of tricky because you need those uh, legal information from US. Those, although it pays different because it works like Upwork and Fiverr, in which you need to connect with clients, so the, the pay varies between each client in which you get to work for. Saying that, uh, I'll lastly say this, uh, you can, these are the estimated average from my experience, I myself, that I've already earned from these sites. But one thing you need to know, these jobs are not always available. On some side they are rarely available and that's why I have arranged these uh, sites in the order of consistency in jobs as you can see and remote tasks is one of the easiest which you can sign up and get jobs as quick as possible so there are some times where there are no jobs but they are just a few days and on Cloud Factory, it's in, I've put it on number two because of the difficulty in getting approved in their center. But when you get approved, you're being paid on contract basis. So whether you are there with this task or not, you just need to be paid so long as you've shown up on their work. Then work around, since it's pay the highest other than any other one here the jobs here are very scarce you can stay up to even three months without seeing the work 
but at the moment when you see the work at work around jump with it dive with it because that's where you will recover all the days that you lost without work and micro workers also it has job most of the time but it pays less as you can see then spare five as i said is slowly shutting down amazon mechanical tech it's you and clients you need to talk so show your clients the skills and you will be able to give you the work same with upwork and fiverr you just need to create a portfolio then from that the client then publish on these sites the client will be able to look for you for your work and give you a contract for a task pay basis job i think i'm going to show you how image annotation is being done exactly i'm using this tool because it is almost same across all the platforms so the, here is the bad and we need to annotate it so i will use a polygon tool remember i said polygon is is same with uh the segmentation so i will cover both in the same topic so you select the type of object you want to annotate which is bad then you click anywhere around that object then click it again as you go around the edges of that object as you can see so i'm just doing it roughly to save time Then when you are coming back to where you start, you just click that point and it activates the tag. And that's bad. Now I will delete that one so that I show you that was polygon segmentation. I'll use same tool. For segmentation, just click anywhere. Then you start dragging as you follow along. You don't want to drag you can just use points as you go because this will make you more accurate but if you want to speed up your process you better learn how to drag it through the edges as fast as possible and you can zoom in like this If you made an error you can do control z control then z then it will just go back as you can see majority of the platforms that's the shortcut keys then you click on the start point it is boom then you are good to go and you submit now with this if you don't want to draw that you can skip then you get another one So with this I'll choose flower. On this I'm going to show you the box tool. So the box tool, you see the horizontal and vertical lines. So you need to measure the edges of that object on horizontal side and the on the vertical side to see where you place your box. So here 
you can see straight then down here so I'm just doing that then hold down your left button key on the mouse and drag to your right then when you are at the end you leave it you, or click then the box will be created so you submit uh, I said this is a person and skip this for demonstration purposes so let me use box to create this uh, let me skip let me use box tool so to show you how I can adjust the box so like I said hold down drag then drop so to drag this box you can hold it in the middle and drag it where you want it to go like this or you can simply hold the two lines horizontal and vertical at the same time and adjust them if you learn to do this you will have your speed boosted which you can make more money or you can add just one side so platform you can adjust this line on individual basis let's see another example is fruit so just place there then hold down like this so you see we need to adjust here so what we do we add the left like this then you're good to go see this is a person so this is where i i mentioned before that you will draw many objects in one image as you can see i'm just doing it roughly to show you so that's person one we need to go to person two right. easy as that you don't need a degree to do this and that's how we make money thank you very much and subscribe to my channel so that you get more ways to earn money if you want to know more about this i'll leave a telegram channel link below there on the description make sure you join it download telegram and join that channel where we will discuss in in-depth detail on other sites and discuss about that so if you join there you will learn more and will make more money thank you